All right, you guys. This is a super cute pony. It did say on there that she is exposed back to the same stud that they just weaned a baby off of her at the cell. They sold her first, Jacob bought her, and then they sold her two month old baby. And a lady in the crowd didn't let Jacob buy it. The lady in the crowd gave over a thousand dollars for a two month old baby. He was black and white paint with blue eyes. So probably really gonna be dark brown. But anyway, that lady, <laughs> the lady apparently, that's the thing. You know, if my husband did something like that, it would be a lot. And then Jacob went to her and said, hey, I bought the mom to that baby. And she said, yeah, I didn't want her. <laughs> I just wanted the baby. So she didn't want the mom. Even Jacob at that point knew that I would be like, if babies are old enough to wean, it doesn't bother me. Like the babies that we stripped off their moms, they needed to be stripped off because they were sucking those mares down. Like those mares were getting thin because those babies were too big to be on there. But she is exposed back to the same stud and he is supposed to be, um, <clears throat> I guess she was exposed back to like, he's a cart pony and he's kind of like a, yeah, well, he's supposed to be like, he's a black and white paint with feathers, like a, like a little, not a gypsy cross, but like a little Welsh cross type pony is what she's exposed back to. And since I. Just so you know, they just took that baby off of her at the cell. The baby was two months old. Jacob said he was kind of a black and white or dark, dark, dark brown and white. He had blue eyes. And Jacob said he already had tons of feathers around the ankles. And this mare is a little bit feathered. What we know is, is that she rides and drives. She's broke enough for any level rider. She mostly pulls a cart. She has been playdate off of. And they said that she's bomb proof and solid for any youth, just any youth rider. And again, she is bred to a little Welsh type stallion, exposed. We don't know that she's bred, but we do know the two month old colt she had on her was really stout, had a lot of feathers and blue eyes. She's exposed back the same way. And again, she is about 14 hands tall and she does pull a cart. She's little. Well, it said on there that she's a pony, so we need to stick her because 132. I don't know if she's that little. I'm going to say she, I'm going to say she's 14 hands, but we will stick her for sure. And Heather has been putting the pictures of where we stick them on their ads on the website, so you Bear, stop it. Blow, stop it. Blow is antagonizing Bear. For a horse that's so reactive, he's really not reactive. On look at him, look at him chase my dog down the fence. He's like, "Come back, you little fucker! I'm gonna get you through the fence." <laughs> Blows like <laughs> bears. Like I just got in trouble. Go away! I'm gonna and Blow is like, "Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did." Yeah, look at Bear. He's Bear just wants in here with us, and he's trying to figure out how, and then Blow is antagonizing him. So Bear is, look at Bear limping off because he got in trouble. Don't you love that sometimes he can't, he can't remember what leg to limp on either? <laughs> Have you ever noticed that? For a, a long time, I used to think his toe bothered him. I'd be like, oh, no, Bear's, Bear's bad toe hurts him. Wait a minute, that's not the leg with the bad toe. That's right. <laughs> that's exactly right. She does have a little bit of, like, feathering. The lady that sold them raises like welch and welch crosses so i think they're kind of feathered ponies so she probably is half paint you know probably like american paint horse and then half something that's feathered and then she's bred to kind of a little super stocky drafty looking pony yeah, she's super cute. How old is she? <laughs> Jess is like, wait, I think I could train this. And I'm like, Jess, stop it. Yeah, she doesn't even need it. She just like, you can just hop on and have fun on her. I love it. Oh, she's young. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. she's young. She's good. She's seven. She is seven. What, you? 
stop it so that I can check your cups. Uh, 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 uh. She is a seven-year-old pony. No, she's seven. What a good age, man. Like, that is such a good age. Will you lope her straight down the fence and let's just get a little lope out of her? She could probably go into somebody's lesson program and be like the lesson pony of the... Oh, look at that lead. She picked it up. Fire. Good job, Mama. Now, this is Jess's strong side to the left. Okay. Other direction, Jess. You got that lead, it was fire. Now, let's get your, this is your weak arm. <laughs> nope, fire! Automatic on our leads. Cause Jess does struggle to the right and this little pony just picked it up, no problem. This is a seven year old, like Welsh cross mare. She did just have a foal. She is exposed back. We cannot guarantee her bread. She is exposed back to a stallion that is a registered stud of some sort. She had a baby at the cell. I begged Jacob to go back and see if he could take a photo of the breeder certificate for the baby because obviously we would know how she was bred back. But um, it is a black, blue-eyed baby that was at this black and white. Uh, Tobiano baby and he had a lot of feathering and was real stout and he was about two months old and she's supposed to be bred back the same way so but you know they must have bred her back on full heat so she'd be having a baby I mean she'd be having I mean she's still a year out she needs to be yeah her tail t touches the ground um, her mane is long the same lady that sold her sold the gilding that has the crack in his foot and she said that that gilding is an Arabian thoroughbred cross. He was her daughter's hunter jumper horse. And we will get him evaluated next. This We don't go to Elkhart Autumn. So you can watch Elkhart's entire cell last night. This horse is from 72D0. That's for 72. The DO stands for Domino, Dominex Opelousis. And the year. Standing here. Yeah. Like the last week, so. <laughs> yeah, so we don't buy anything out of Elkhart we refuse because what we found is that 90% of the horses that are rode through in the barn, and this is my opinion, this is my staff's opinion, I can speak for them when I say. It, there's a lot of people on TikTok, there's a whole entire group of people that are posting their horses that went through Elkhart. We we will go into the wild tribe after hours and share those TikToks on a regular basis. And the thing is, is when you drop your horse off, yes, whatever story you give the barn is on the seller. But when the barn is the barn rider rides them through and they're clearly ace, their pee pee's hanging out. They have, like, to get on them. they have to have people hold them to get on them. It's very hard for us because we believe that we bought lots of horses that had been aced out of there. And the problem is, is that the sellers aren't who rode them through the cell. The barn rider is. I'm not knocking Donna. So please don't go to her and be like, Tara's bashing you again. Here's the deal. The cell barn is a cell barn. It happens at every cell barn. But we don't make Elkhart because I have been very vocal about the issues that we had from there. To the point that I don't go back. And technically by law, she can't actually stop me personally from going there because I am bonded through P&S, which is Packers and Stockyards, and it is a public auction and I am a cash buying customer. So to protect public interest of a fair market, you can't you cannot ban people that are cash paying customers that are bonded dealers. You can't ban them. Now, we have a mutual agreement. I don't make Elkhart, but I don't make Elkhart because... I had so many complaints and then it went further. Like the complaint started, I started complaining, I started complaining, it was falling on deaf ears and then a boy that worked for me started dating her daughter and then all of a sudden they started like copying everything I did and I thought, you know, it pisses me off that I'm raising concerns to you, it's falling on deaf ears and then you're verbatim copying what I do. So we don't, 
Gail, the owner of the mare, chose to tag them in separately, and she was smart because the lady that bought the baby didn't want the mare. This mare is going to find a great home. Jacob gave good money for her, and the baby brought over $1,000. Jacob said, when I bid $1,000 and somebody else, I think that lady, like, jumped it to $1,200. And Jacob was like, she was serious. She was going to buy that baby, and he said, I just let her have it. And he said, what I did is I went after the sale, and... Um, I went after the sale and went to the lady and asked her if she wanted to buy the mare. And she told him, nope, I just wanted the baby. And that's their choice. And at the end of the day, that's livestock. And we all just have to understand that that happens. It's no drama. But I, for those of you who keep asking if she went through Elk Elkhart, absolutely not. We do not buy animals there. Um, Donna and I have a mutual agreement that, you know, I don't make her sell. I have my opinions on it. But at the end of the day, the barn rider and I obviously don't agree with each other he would tell you tell he's blue in the face I don't I don't ace any of the horses but my opinion is they're aced and there's an opinion of tons of people on social media we did it we did it we tagged one in we had somebody tag one in over there and they rode it through and it rode beautiful after it had bucked jaw off three times we did it we did it we did it we did it yay yeah well, I didn't do it on a TikTok. I, I, I had one here that bucked us off three times and we sold it to a little boy right over here that is a frequenter of that cell. And the following Saturday, it rode through the ring like a million bucks, but it rode through the ring like a million bucks when we bought it. So it's a, there's the thing. We want you guys to see them out here in the open. This isn't a 10 by 10 ring and it's all cell barns. So please hold on. Let's not make this like a bash elk cart thing because as much as I want to be like, oh, elk cart. What I have found with most cell barns is when somebody that buys volume, like my husband and I have a complaint and we're like, hey, you know, we've bought several and this is what we're seeing. Most cell barns have enough respect to at least look into it we were met instantly with well that's not our problem take it up with the seller like there was no concern yeah. like there was no like okay now what like you know i had an issue with two horses i bought out of opelousas it's a cow cell those horses were very 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 clearly drugged i called opelousas and i said sam i have a problem two horses um that we bought i feel like were grossly misrepresented the notes that were left with them versus the horses I received. Can you, can you look into this? She called me back about 30 minutes later and she said, Hey, Mike looked into it. We're going to contact that seller. They called the seller and the seller was from out of state and trade some horses and whatever. And they just told him not to come back. Him and his girlfriend are not allowed back. They didn't take the horses back, but those specific sellers are just not allowed back because we bought two horses. Both horses went through the cell sound. Kid broke, gentle. We got them home. Um, they were not sound. They were not kid broke. They were not gentle. And the mare had a two foot kicking problem to the point that she almost kicked Brandon's face off. Like so belligerently dangerous. And you know what? It's public fucking auction. So we didn't take them back up to the cell barn and ask them to take them back. But as just a respect, the way that the cell barn looks at it, it may not have been Jacob and I. What if it would have been Bobby over here who was buying the kid broke mare for his daughter and they got home and that mare had kicked their daughter's face off. So some cell barns are just a little bit more concerned with the safety of humans than other cell barns. What I found with Elkhart was there was never an, oh, okay, let me look into this or, oh, let me, it was always take it up with the seller click. So for me, I feel like the integrity of that was, I mean, people can question my integrity, but at the end of the day, it's not that I think that all auction barns don't have that behavior. I would say 100% of sell barns we go to, we have bought horses out of that are not what they were advertised to be. It is not the auction barns. But I 
will say that a lot of auction barns want for the integrity of the sellers to be slightly upstanding or at least to the best of their ability. Most sell barns say, I can tell you what it does for me. We can't tell it what it does for you. So we don't ever guarantee, you know, we don't ever guarantee. So guarantees are between the buyer and the seller. But when you leave a note that says this is kid broke and you physically leave a note and say, this is what it is. And the sell barn repeats that. And then it's not those things to the point that we can't even, we couldn't catch the mare without roping her. When we finally got her roped, she ran backwards at Brandon and she actually kicked him in the face. She kicked him right here. And he just happened to step back when she did it or else I think it could have killed him. It was that bad. Yeah. yeah. He screeched, didn't he? Uh, yeah, I remember. He screamed and grabbed his face and everybody's heart sank because we... I just knew it had fucked his world up. And luckily, I don't know how the hell, but I know that he did like this right when she kicked and she caught him right here and she was running backwards to kick him. And that came out, that came out of a cow cell. And when they called that, those people are, they horse trade and those are probably two horses that they didn't want to take to any horse cell. But where they fucked up is if they would have run them through Opelousas with no note, Mike would have never said a word. But because they left notes that said they were kid broke that's what pissed the cell barn owner off was the this is kid broke this is kid broke and so that's the thing and I understand that when people leave notes at Elkhart it's not Donna's responsibility to like fact check I know she's a girl so let me just say that it's not their responsibility to fact check those notes but when you do have people that are calling to tell you like this is not, <laughs> by the way, this person, and then, and then the next week, that same person has horses there again, and the next week that person has horses, it means that they are not too concerned with the integrity of their sellers. That's my opinion. It's an opinion I stand by. This is literally it's, You can put Tinley on her, come on. You gotta back I do really like her. And just walk around all day, and she'll just follow you. And I know she will, but Tinley has cookie. And now we have a fucking cupcake. Yeah, see, we gotta, we gotta call Jacob. <sighs> oh, oh Tinley. Tinley already told Jacob last night that we bought a mommy cookie. We have Campancho and mommy Campancho. Now we have cookie and mommy cookie. And I'm like, Tinley, cupcake. Her name is Cupcake. Daddy, we have a mommy cupcake. <laughs> yes, this is Pop-Tart. Pop-Tart's not staying. Neither is mommy cookie. Fuck, neither is cookie. We have a cookie, a mommy cookie, slash cupcake, and a Pop-Tart. And they all need... <laughs> That's right. So, let me just say that people feel like I pick on Elkhart. I don't. I don't really mean to pick on them. I really honestly don't have any... I mean, I don't have any hard feelings other than... We just do things different and I don't feel, I don't feel like as a horse trader, I can go to that sell and trust what I'm buying enough to stand behind it to my customers. So it's just what it is. Okay. I need to get some photos of When you go in there to doctor his foot, I'll, I'll video it. That way we can look at it close. <laughs> Do you think that we should maybe put one more pile of dirt here? Because this is like, as it sinks and settles, it'll. Yeah. Colton's like, oh, why am I even here? Should we? Okay. So like, you're the man here. You're the man. Told y'all he's super cute. Jess, you kind of picked cute. Should we put one more thing of dirt here so that like as it settles? Okay. Yeah, Tractor driver of the year. I'm okay with that. We can flatten it as we... Man, it's... The shit pile's gone! <laughs> what I think I'm going to do maybe... Hey, y'all friend that hauls dirt and stuff? We should probably have gravel put right there, huh? Yeah. Oh, at the place he works for does. I was gonna say I'd rather give him my money than yeah.
They said, oh my gosh, Jess, he is so cute. <sighs> We're just saying. He's kind of got that California cute vibe going. We like it with his like dirty blonde hair and smile. Like, okay, Jess, we see you. All I know is, is everybody's always like, Jess's butt is so cute. And we're like, so is her boyfriend. <laughs> Colton, he's like, wait a minute. I thought I didn't like it here, but my ego's getting, yeah. He's like, my ego be feeling it. Lori, we literally go through over 3,000 horses a year. I can assure you, I can definitely assure you that any kid broke horse, this is the difference. So listen to me, okay, Lori, a kid broke horse doesn't take two months to settle in. That is just a broke horse. That's maybe a horse that is adult broke. Kid horses do not take two months to settle in. Some horses do, listen, some horses do take two months to settle in, but that's not a fucking kid horse. See, we can haul a kid horse from California to Florida, jump it off in the middle of a thunderstorm when lightning is cracking, flip underneath it, grab a tarp to cover us and the horse up and ride it in the barn and everybody's safe. That's a kid broke horse. Kid broke horses are bomb fucking proof. Now there's lots of broke horses that have mild idiosyncrasies, that have mild behavioral things that are no big deal for an experienced rider. But when you attach the verbiage, kid broke, youth suitable, you also should just, and this is where a lot of horse traders are like, oh, well, my, it, it was broken up for my kid. Okay, but your fucking kid's been riding since it was two years old and your freaking kid can stand up, crack a bullwhip and do a flip off the back. That is not a true kid broke horse. When people say kid broke, it should be followed by kid broke bomb proof. And by bomb proof, it shouldn't take two months to settle in. This one, you th yes, this is a gorgeous horse. He is gorgeous. They said the horse behind you was gorgeous. I know who they're talking about, but we're gonna stroke the mule's ego. Hi, Hi sweet baby. You need some groceries. Who starved you? Hello, sweet baby. He's like, excuse me, I don't know about love. Hello, sweet baby. Hi. Yours a cute mule mule. We need to clean your eyes out. You have duber doos. I like your orange halter. This is beautiful on you. I have a feeling nobody's been nice to you in a long time. Can I see how old you are? No. No. Let me see. Let me see. You come here. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> you are 12. Nice. 12, give or take. You just have had no groceries. Let's see these, this side. Let's compare sides. We need to compare both sides. Oh. Let me see those grooves. Ooh, ooh. You have tinky breath. I bet you need your teeth floated. Yeah. I think whoever owned this one forgot to feed it, you guys. I think they forgot to feed him. What do y'all think? I mean, like as of the point that we can see the the SI joint, I think we're probably we're probably skin and bone. That's who you were talking about. <sighs> Jess is like, I remembered. I remembered. That poor mule, whoever owned it, I think forgot it existed and forgot to feed it. They were like, eh, oh, what mule? Cuties, they're almost touching. Yeah, he just wanted some kindness. He just needed somebody to be kind to him. Now he's talking to me. He's like, hey, nice human, come back. He's probably not... Oh, I fucked this up. Help me. Can somebody help me? I've done fuck shit up. Imagine that. Imagine me fucking shit up. I, it came out and it was in two pieces. I was like, wait, it's in two pieces. I know, Mama. Every horse we own is scared of this.
We're on the ground. We're on the ground. 13 1? Jess, you were right. I would have called I, her 14 I hands. Do, She might be under that. Because, like, if you get one right on the cusp, obviously it's going to run faster than a midget pony, and then it's Whoa. more likely to win. Yeah, she's not. I mean, Somebody to buy her I could make her 13 1 if I wanted to. There's no way she's 13 2. She's under 13 2. Like, even if I smush this into the ground, there's no way we can get her to 13 2. So she's a true pony. You're a true pony. And honestly, someone needs to buy a Virgin can of pony in California. <laughs> They'd win it all. Oh, I need to take a picture of that for the website. All right, you guys, I'm going to get her photos and then we're going to move on to the next one. Um, Cameras are prohibited at New Holland, not because of animal activists, but because of the Amish. They don't believe in photographs. Um, Kelowna also has lots of signs up that say, please be courteous with your phones and cameras as, you know, the Amish don't believe in photographs. So it's very hard because the older Amish community don't want their photos taken. They don't, you know, they don't, they just don't. Yeah, let's just make sure. Yeah, there's no way she's... I feel like the hair is making her even just a touch. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay. Like, I feel like right there. Can somebody screenshot this to me? <laughs> screenshot this to us. Oh, God. Why do I love you? <laughs> ding, ding. <laughs> Hi, sweet boy. I think he's supposed to be really young. And they he came from the same people that had caboose. That lady, this is the one that she said she had off at a trainer. And when she got it back in, she'd bring it to the cell. This is him. Yeah, he's like not, not overly old at all. He's coming nine. He's beautiful, isn't he? When that tail grows out, this will be a fire beautiful sucker. You can tell he was a stud for a long time. He's got beautiful jaws. You got a nice old booty on you too, boy. I be liking that booty. He's like, bitch, shut up. Get out of my face. I'm scared. He's like, I've never been here. All right, we're going to doctor a foot. We'll be back. <laughs>